We got our hands on some of the latest leaks from the Star Citizen Pipeline Discord channel. And uh, this time around is from the Bar Citizen. We got some base build server meshing, DLSS and trade info. We're going straight into it. On this very first one regarding base building, they um, heard that, um, now remember, take everything said in leaks with a grain of salt because it may be true, it may be untrue, it may be delayed or anything like that. All right, so the very first thing that they said here is that the initial version of base building system is a 3.23 but what actually what it says here it says building system okay so um so it says they have no idea what it contains and it's likely groundwork and basic stuff since they're only starting development in q1 so um that'll be interesting if they are going to be incrementally um adding features as they develop the Future set for base building that would be pretty cool. Um, thinking about it, um, allowing them to drop things in quickly, they have a lot more staff to focus on. Star says development, so this is good. I can see that um, this is possible, but uh, we'll have to see once we get our hands on the Q1 patch. It says here you can log in and out of your outpost down. This is something that a lot of people are waiting for to be able to have your own outpost and live there and be able to log in and out, spawn your ship in and out as well is going to be a big thing. The next thing it says here, it says outposts will be built underground, but this will be a future, a future development. Interesting, underground bases, that's gonna be pretty cool. You know what, I think that's even gonna be safe if you can have an underground base. That's gonna be really cool. Hmm. Hmm. What I'm hoping for is also um, asteroid bases as well. They did tease at that at the beginning of development of Star Citizen of having asteroid bases. So I'm hoping that they are considering this on the initial development of base building. To be able to have your own outpost in an asteroid would be pretty cool. It also says here you can craft anything from furniture to bed, etc. So that's going to be um, this is one of the one of the fundamental things in base building is able to build furnitures and things like that to be able to decorate your base. So that's going to be interesting to see. Not sure how soon we'll see all this, but um, it's good that they have it mentioned here. It says you'll be able to purchase four x four or eight x eight land claims, which will be purchased with AUC. So you don't need to purchase it with real money, but you can purchase them with AUC as you um progress through the game and i think that's a cool idea i wonder is it going to be um well i think it's okay it's okay if everybody starts off without owning um, a base and then you you work um to earn the money to be able to purchase a base or at least a land claim and then um build the base from there instead of um, everybody starting off with a base so i think those that already purchased land claims will have their base uh the land claims initially but um i like the idea of starting off um, from the beginning getting the ship that i want and also working towards getting a uh, land claim and building on my outpost somewhere um, that would be really interesting up next here it says server meshing it says uh critical phase of server meshing development has passed and the first version is 3.23 so this is huge news if it is if it is true um it's very exciting um it's uh i'm really excited for this year man server meshing if they're really pushing to have some similitude of server meshing in 3.23 the very first patch of 2024 is going to be awesome um once again they did knock out um the uh, replication layers testing um this the end of this year actually and um, i'm glad that they pushed for it and gotten it tested so it seems like they've gotten enough data to be able to have a goal to have at least the very first uh, implementation of server meshing in 3.23 that's going to be really cool up next it says dlss so it says dlss 2 and probably fsr 2 as well in 3.23 that's a q1 patch and it says dlss 3 had major problems during implementation so we'll come I believe these things are related to improving frame rates, um, but you guys can let me know in the comments down below. Up next here, it says trade. It says the whole series ships will be managed differently for cargo, 
and loading of said cargo. No further detail. I assume that. I think Hall CB ships should, at least from the Hall C and up, should be able to dock up at all the primary um, orbital stations and to unload all of its cargo. It should not be required to go down the planet side to the main locations. I think the main cargo decks for these main locations should actually be in the orbital stations. Um, this way, all C's, E's, and D's do not need to bother going planet side. They just load up there, unload there, and then maybe they can uh, spawn missions for other players to pick them up from the orbital station and send them down the planet side. It's an opportunity. It's a gameplay opportunity right there too. So. Up next, it says real-time signage in cities and in movie glass for commodity pricing. That's something that we've been looking forward to uh, for a while, to be able to have the commodities in our movie glass to be able to check it in-game instead of through um, an external website. So this is going to be awesome. I can't wait uh, for this. It seems like we're going to be seeing this with the new UI update. It's probably an app that's already integrated in the new UI update. So um, I cannot wait to see that. And it says here, no more predetermined routes. Our posts will not always have the same type of commodity for sale or purchase. Okay, so I guess they're mixing it up. This way you'll have to um, figure out which outpost to go to if one is not selling or buying something you need to know other potential locations that you may need to go to to offload or purchase your cargo once again my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you're interested you can find our discord in the description down below make sure to leave a like subscribe i'll see you on the next video